Hello, welcome to the video on the order of operations. This is going to be our first example set, example set A. And of course, I hope you had a chance to watch the lesson. Really important that you've done so. Um, but let's go ahead and practice the order of operations with these uh, basic problems first. So remember, rem uh, we remember the order of operations with this saying, PEMDAS. Okay, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And just a quick uh, review, remember P is what we're going to do first, and that is all, all the things inside of parentheses or other type of grouping symbols. And then we're going to look for E's in our problem, which stands for exponents or powers. And then we're going to tackle multiplication and division, okay, whichever one we see first from left to right, and then addition, subtraction, it will be last in whichever we see first from left to right. So this is the order. And we have a pretty basic problem here. So we have 32 minus 24 divided by 2. Okay, clearly we have to do this first because division is higher up on the scale than, uh, or the priority list, than subtraction. So we're going to go 32 minus 24 divided by 2 is 12. Okay, so now we have 32 minus 12. Really, there's no more oper operators in here. Okay, pretty straightforward uh, statement. And the answer there would be 20. All right, so very easy problem. And now let's go ahead and tackle the rest of these problems. And by the way, if you had a chance to try these on your own, I strongly suggest that you uh, pause the video and try to do them before you see me go over them. I think that always works best. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and tackle this one. So I'll write up here PEMDAS again. So I'm looking for any parentheses. Do you see any parentheses? Yep, I see them right here. So that means I have to do that part of the problem first. And when you look at your parentheses, you've got to look inside to see what, you're, what you have to do. In this case, I have to uh, multiply 2 and 7. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I notice I'm just rewriting the problem, and then I'm going to show the product of 2 and 7 like this. Okay, so 2 times 7 is 14. All right, and what do we do next here? We're left with addition and division. So clearly, multiplication and division become, um, is uh, before addition and subtraction. So we're going to do this next. Okay, so 56 divided by 14. Now, if you want to use your calculator, I don't have a problem with that. Remember, your calculator is a tool. Okay, um, it's there to aid you. Um, it's not going to teach you the order of operations per se. It's just going to, you know, help calculate some of these things. So, don't feel shy about using your calculator if you if you think you you have to. Okay. So we have 11 plus 56 divided by 14, and 56 divided by 14 is 4. So we have 11 plus 4, and then of course that's pretty straightforward. Really, nothing much to do except to add those two numbers, and we have 15. All right. Okay, so yeah, most of you are out there probably saying these are pretty easy problems, but you know what? We want to check our understanding with easy problems first, and then we'll work our way up. All right, I'm going to write PEMDAS again. Now, you don't have to write PEMDAS every single time. I just, I'm just doing this as a little reference to help us out and to reinforce um, what we learned. So do you see any parentheses here? No. Okay, there's no parentheses, so we just keep going down our list. Okay, are there any E's or exponents, powers? Nope. Is there any multiplication or division? Yes, there is. Okay, so which comes first from left to right? Okay, well the division does. So we have to tackle this part of the problem first. Okay, so this will be 6 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 6. Okay, so if this threw you off a little bit, remember, multiplication division, it's not always multiplication first, okay? It's whichever you see out of those two from left to right, okay? We have to do the one from the left first. Now, pretty straightforward from here, because we always do div uh, multiplication before addition. So this would be 6 plus 12, okay? And then there's really nothing left to do except to add those two numbers and get the right answer, which would be 18. All right, let's take a look at our last problem. 
I'll write this up here again. Pem DOS. All right. Are there any parentheses? Of course there there is. Okay, right here. Okay, so we have to do what's inside the parentheses first. Now, inside the parentheses, we already have a couple different things going on. Okay, we have some powers and some multiplication, subtraction. So we just continue to refer back to our list again. Okay, that's always going to help us out. So the next thing is, are there any powers? Okay, E. Okay, is the powers recall? It stands for exponents, and there is. It's just three squared. So let's do that. That'll be nine minus one times eight squared. All right. But notice I'm still not done inside of the parentheses, so I have to keep going. So I'm looking in there. I have subtraction and multiplication. Of course, multiplication um, uh, comes first before subtraction. So I have nine minus one times eight, which is eight squared. I'm still not done inside the parentheses. 9 minus 8 is 1 squared, and 1 times 1, or 1 squared, is 1. Wow. Had to go through all that work, and all we get out of this thing is a 1. Uh, sometimes it doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Actually, you know, um, this is one of these things I find with students. Sometimes they'll go through a lot of work, and they'll get like an easy answer, or sometimes they'll actually get... Uh, a decimal or a fraction and they kind of doubt themselves because they were expecting uh, another type of number and um, try not you know I, it's, it's so natural to do that but if you if you do the steps right and you're confident in your ability hey whatever you get you get and you know you have to be confident in your answer if you understand and you uh, do two other things show your work okay and you're neat and you understand what's going on then you can be confident in your answer and hopefully you're confident in the order of operations but we don't want to stop here we want to continue to practice and uh, keep working hard and we'll see you soon